Hello folks and thanks for watching True Stories with me, Sherry Weens. Welcome to TGIS. It's, thank goodness it's Saturday. And thank goodness it's Sherry. <laughs> if you guys like chatting all things true, I definitely like to ask you to consider to subscribe to the channel. Um, if you like positivity and if you enjoy the channel perhaps you'd consider sharing it with your friends family your co-workers your classmates or wherever you're at in life um, let's help the algorithms for miss true stories here to help my channel to get shared <laughs> First off, I just want to say um, my live is not working properly. There are clearly still some issues with, um, yeah, let's just leave it at issues. Regardless, I also wanted to just say a quick apology about having the comment section turned off. Folks, I am so sorry. I changed a setting and forgot that I did that and then had to go back and fix it. As you all know, I'm posting stories and saying, oh, please comment, comment. <laughs> then I've got the comment section off. Like, oh my goodness, I'm sorry. So my bad. Um, hopefully you can forgive me for that. And uh Yes, so welcome to everybody who's new. We discuss true stories of all kinds. And for all my returning subscribers, hello, so lovely to see you. Today's rare topic on true story. This is something that I've noticed there's not a lot of people talking about, but um, it's a pretty significant piece of history that I think we should talk about. And it's true, so, you know, it's all fitting. <laughs> All right, so if you have never heard of the four women, they are known as the human computers, okay? I'll give you their names. So we have Dorothy Vaughn, and we have Mary Jackson, and we have Katherine Johnson, and then we have Christine Darden. Now, of the four women, the last woman, Mrs. Christine Darden, is the only one that is still alive. And these women were responsible for helping NASA um, win sort of the, the space race that was happening eons ago. Like, I mean, like a few decades ago. So if you haven't seen the motion picture that they made about these four women, it's called Hidden Figures and you can find it on Netflix. It's a pretty interesting flick and it's the weekend. Maybe it's raining where you are. You don't have anything to do. Might be a good movie night. Grab some popcorn, have a glass of wine, chill out maybe wine's not your thing have a glass of water <laughs> whatever it is that you do but you should check out this true story because it is pretty phenomenal so the motion picture stars Tara G Henson Octavia Spencer Janelle Monet Kirsten Dunst and Kevin Costner and Kevin Costner does an exceptional piece about the the division of the washrooms back in those days and what the women were having to deal with was pretty much it was basically inhumane I mean they were having to go so far away from the grounds that they worked in order to just use the washroom it took up so much time and so when it was sort of all found out Kevin Costner sort of rose to you know the hierarchy and smashed the sign it essentially smashing the division that was happening in that um, 
you know, in that time and in, in that era and in that company, unfortunately. And it sometimes it takes not, you know, doing things the right way to be shown that, you know, you could be doing it better. And I think that uh, the division of a washroom based on color is really, you know, like that's... <clears throat> Like, I believe in the division of the washroom based on sex, but no on the color. So anyway, I was really impressed with how he rose to, you know, the challenge of really making a difference and uh, changing changing the way that everyone in, in and around there were, were thinking, basically. So the women that helped this space race, helping the NASA with these, and NASA was struggling in the time. Like, they didn't have enough people who knew enough expertise in the mathematics in order to be, you know, getting the proper configurations set for, you know, a, a launch or, you know, a, um, a trip to the moon type of thing, right? So because they had worked so due diligently in, you know, and excelled in science and physics and mathematics and technology, it sort of paved the way for the civil rights movement and the Cold War and the women's rights movement. Um, so it's a pretty phenomenal flick. Like I said, if you don't have anything to do this weekend, I would I highly recommend checking it out. I know this is a little bit of a quick video. I'm sorry that the live didn't work. The connection isn't working properly. So I did just decided to do this instead. All right, so that being said, folks, if you enjoyed this true story, give it a like, give it a comment, and uh, the comment section is on. I'm really sorry about that, by the way. <laughs> and I look forward to seeing you all again in the next true story with me, Sherry Weens. Bye for now, folks. Stay safe out there.